What would you like? White or red? How many times have we asked this question? And yet, there is way more to the world of wine than white and red. It's a master of style. Why don't we go find out together? Let's wine together. It's so funny how, for some people, white wines are not wines. Really? Come on, man. White wines are phenomenal wines. But how come they're white and white wines are white and red wines are red? We've discovered how color in the red style, we've discovered how color comes through the skin. So you can make white wines with white grapes. But you could make white wines even with red grapes. Yes, you can. How? If you press a berry, whatever berry you have, you'll be having white juice. So if you press and then throw the skin away, you'll be having a white wine. Now, white wines are a little bit more difficult to make than red wines. You know why? Because they're a little bit more uh, sophisticated in a way, like uh, they, you need to, you know, handle them with care. White wines, the other major difference is that usually, as mentioned, you press the grapes, you throw the skin away, and then the juice is gonna, you're gonna ferment it. So sugars go down, alcohol goes up. Something else doesn't happen in white wines. The second fermentation, which we're talking about for the first time right now, the malolactic fermentation, most of the times doesn't happen. What's malolactic fermentation? is the fermentation carried out by bacteria, they're gonna transform in maloacidity, which is the acidity of like uh, green apples, into lactic, like uh, dairy products, like uh, latte acidity, so making everything smoother. All reds go through malolactic fermentation, most whites do not. Otherwise, they'll become too flabby because the acidity is gonna drop down and you want white wines to be really vibrant. When it comes to style, so you're going to be having like uh, very light white wines, usually without any malolactic fermentation and no oak whatsoever. Or you might be having bigger, more important white wines. How? Some of these whites will go through either a little bit of malolactic fermentation, adding uh, creaminess and butteriness to the wines, the famous uh, Chardonnay with the super buttery notes or a little bit, some oak aging. Some oak aging is gonna help the whites to gain color and to become more structured and more full-bodied. Uh, temperature of serving of white wines usually is lower than you would have with reds. Red wines are served around the so-called room temperature, anything between 16 and 18 degrees. Here, you want to be going anything between 6 and 8 degrees centigrade all the way up to 16. So, when red wines start, usually white wines arrive. The lighter the body of the white and the chiller you can keep it, the fuller the body, and the warmer the temperature can be. Arrivederci from the world of white wines. Now, it's time to go check the other videos on the other side. Did you learn anything new today? If you have any questions, just ask. And of course, for more tips, tricks, and love, follow us on our social media and our wine classes. And enjoy it like a true Italiano.